Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up, record, and edit audio within Audacity. So Audacity is a free audio editing and recording piece of software. Uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the website here. It is audacityteam.org. So if you have not downloaded it already, go to that URL and then download whichever version uh, you need to use for the operating system that you are using. And then once you have downloaded that, you are going to be able to use a free piece of software, which in my mind is so, so good. Now, I prefer Adobe Audition. Now, that's a paid software that you are utilizing with the Creative Cloud suite of applications from Adobe. But if you want something that's free and almost as good, it's almost that top tier piece of software for audio editing, Audacity is a great, great tool. So let's jump in. Let me show you a little bit about Audacity and let's go ahead and run through all of the features and I'll get you up and running in no time. All right, so just like in any other audio editing and recording piece of software, it's gonna look fairly similar to you if you've used one before. If you haven't, that's not a problem either. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up what you're going to record from, so as far as what microphone you're using. And in order to do that, you can go to Audacity and then go to Preferences. And then basically you'll be presented with this option box here. And then under Devices, you're going to see a few things. Leave the interface host, all of that the same. Under playback device, you can, you know, if you're, if you want to play back through your headphones, you can use your audio interface if you want to, but normally you probably want to choose built-in output if you have speakers. And then the recording device is going to be your audio interface or your microphone. So you can also use your webcam, like I have a Logitech webcam here I could use, but I'm going to choose my audio interface, which is my Scarlett 2i2. Now, whatever your microphone is called, however you have it plugged in, that's the device you're going to want to select here under recording. Now, under playback, basically all of this stuff here, I'm not going to really get into right now. I can do separate videos for all of them, uh, so I'm not going to dive into those and confuse you guys. I'm going to show you a little bit about the interface and how to use Audacity, and you'll be up in no time. So go ahead and click OK once you've selected your recording device. Now, also, a great thing you can do in Audacity that I just love is you can just select this drop-down menu here uh, where you see the microphone icon and select your microphone. So if you have multiple microphones, you can select the drop-down menu, select which microphone you're using. You can even select a drop-down menu to select if you want to record in mono or stereo. Now, let me just briefly explain that for a minute if you're not an audio person. Mono is going to record audio when you export it. It's going to only be able to be heard out of one speaker, left or right, not both of them. Stereo will allow you to produce audio that people can hear in their headphones in both headphones. So normally you wanna use stereo unless you're doing something really specific where you just need mono. Built-in output, basically you can choose here uh, how your audio is output there. Now, the main thing that you see here is your timeline. And then up here above that, you have all of the different tools. So all of these buttons here are very self-explanatory. I'm not going to go over them. You've seen them uh, on, on pieces of software, on VCRs for ages. You get your pause button, your play, your stop, fast forward, rewind, and record button. Now, when you're ready to record some audio, you'll click this red button here, and I'm going to start recording some audio and show you how to do that now. So now, as you can see, the timeline is moving forward to the right, from the left to the right, and you can see the WAV file being created as I record audio from my microphone. Now, in order to stop recording, you either click the yellow stop button up here or you click the space bar on your keyboard. Go ahead and click the stop button now. And I now have stopped recording. Now, as you can see, I am zoomed in a lot into my timeline. This is called your timeline. You have your pieces of audio here in your timeline. And then if I go up here and go to the zoom out tool, which is the little zoom out magnifying glass, I'll be able to zoom out all the way to where I can see both the files here. Now, I specifically have two different audio files here. I wanna show you what we can do with those. Now, with this specific piece of audio up here, I can click and hold and move it around. I can click and hold. Now, the only way I can do that is by using this tool here. So this tool here is called the time shift tool. This tool is going to allow you to do a whole bunch of different things, but primarily it's going to allow you to manipulate where your audio is as well as splitting it into different files and clips and things like that. Now, the main tool that you're probably going to use within Audacity is this little guy here. It looks like a little text icon, like a big uppercase I. Click that right there. That's going to be your selection tool. You can click and hold there and select pieces of audio by clicking and holding and highlighting specific pieces of audio that you want to edit. Now again, if you wanna zoom in back, just click the little magnifying glass there and that'll bring it up to more of a forefront. So basically that's kind of what you wanna do there using that specific tool. 
Now this tool right here is called the envelope tool. So what you can do with this tool is you can increase and decrease the volume of the audio. So you click and hold and then drag up or down. Uh, obviously, if you drag up, that'll decrease the audio. Drag it down, that'll increase the volume of the audio. Now, you're going to see two separate tracks, one on bottom, one on top. Obviously, if you only have something on top, that means you're recording in mono. If you have something on bottom, you're recording in stereo. So bottom and top means stereo, just on top means mono. Now when I export my audio is when I always export it as stereo. So don't get too concerned if it, you don't see two different WAV files here in unison. And that's about it as far as the tools up here. You're going to have a draw tool, which you really won't use that much. And then you have this guy right here, which is the multi-tool mode, and you really don't need to use that either. So don't worry about any of those other tools up there for the time being. Now. As you can see up here, you're going to see a timestamp, 0, 15, 30. Basically, that is in seconds. So you can kind of see where your audio is recording and how long the audio that you've recorded is. And then you're going to have a few different other tools up here, like this one here. You can start monitoring stuff, the zoom in, the zoom out. You can zoom into a specific area here. Uh, and then also right up here, if you go right here, you can click this here, and it's going to monitor how loud or how quiet you are going into the microphone. Now, you want to keep this between 12 and 6 down here, negative 12, negative 6. If it gets above 6 here towards negative 3, I'm going to yell. And as you can see there, it got extremely, extremely hot. Like, I hopefully, I did not bust your eardrums, but you could see the red and the yellow up here. And that is not good. You want your audio to be very crisp, very clean. And in order to do that, you want right here when you're monitoring your audio, you want that to be always in the green. If you're in the green, it's good. You're in the yellow, uh, and if you're in the red, really bad. So make sure you monitor your audio before starting the recording. That way you know when you export your audio, you're not going to have to go back and edit and do some editing and go back and record it all over again. So with Audacity, there are a number of things that you can do other than record audio. Now, once I have my recorded audio here, like you can see, I can do a number of things. I can click the X up here where you see audio track, click the X, that's going to delete that audio file. Now, I'm going to go ahead and undo that, show you one more time, click the X that will delete that specific track. Now, again, remember, you're going to have to select this tool here to move your audio around. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my audio back to the start there. And then what we can do is we can play the audio the back to the right and you can see the WAV file being created. And as you can see, as I select an area with the selection tool there, I can play from that point. So if you have a specific point that you want to play from, we'll zoom in here. You can just click there and then press the space bar or the play button created as I. And as you can hear, the audio is playing back for me from within the program. Now, that's the basics of as far as recording and getting audio files within Audacity. Now, there's a number of things we can do to edit audio. As you can see here, there's a space that I've left right here in my audio. In order to get rid of that space, I can click and hold where the space is and highlight that specific area and then just click the backspace or delete button on your keyboard and that'll automatically remove that long area of silence there that you've had. Now, if you have an area of audio that you just don't want to use within your audio file, click and hold that just like a blank space, click the backspace button and you are good to go. Now, when it comes to naming your audio files or specific tracks within a file, you can click this guy right here and you can go to name. Now, under name, you're going to see this come up and it's going to say track name and then you can name this track whatever you want to name it. Audio track seven is what I'll do here and then click OK and that'll be the name of this track. Now, you're going to see a few different sliders here. What does this mean? This little slider here with the minus and plus sign, this is going to be your gain. Now, again, unless you know a lot about audio and need to increase the gain, I would not mess with it. The next slider you're going to see here is the left and right. If you want a specific part of an audio clip to only be heard out of the left speaker or the right speaker, you can just pan all the way to the left or pan all the way to the right. This means only audio will be coming out of the right headphone jack or the right headphone that you're putting in your ear or the left headphone that you have in your ear or speakers for that matter. It really doesn't have to be headphones. So you can do that and that's some kind of more uh, more intense stuff that you may not want to get into right now. Now, let's talk about what do we do if we want to add some effects to our audio. Now, the first thing you want to do is select the piece of audio that you want to add the effects to. So again, you want to grab your selection tool and then go ahead and select the audio and then go up to where you see effect. Now, 
there are a number of effects, and I'm obviously not going to go over all of them, but if we go to effect, and then we go down here and we look at a few different things, we can add a whole bunch of different effects. Now, I can add a phaser, I'm gonna actually add some reverb, just so you can kind of hear what it does, and then you're going to have the effect panel come available to you. And again, there's going to be videos on YouTube, tutorials on the internet that'll show you the perfect settings for each effect, so I'm not going to do that now, but you can adjust the effects here, just like I could do, with any of these sliders, and then you can go down and preview this or click OK, and that'll apply the audio effect. Now, if I go here and I play this back, now as you can see, the timeline is it's going to sound like I'm in a closed room, a tin closed room, and I'm echoing off the wall. So it obviously sounds bad, but that's how you add an effect. Now, if you want to undo something, it's just normal like you would in any other program. Go to Edit and then Undo, just like that, or Command Control Z on the keyboard for the hotkeys. Now. That's how you add effects. Select the audio, just like I did, go to effect, go down here, and then you can add any of these effects here. There's a lot of cool ones that you can use, uh, and then some simple ones such as fade in, fade out. Now, we have our audio completed. We've added the effects that we want to add. What do we do next? So we want to export our audio so we can use it, right? We wanna go ahead and export it to a WAV file or an MP3 file. So then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to, up here, go to file, and then go to right here where you see a few different things, but you wanna go down to where you see export audio. Click the export audio. The next thing you're going to see are a few options that look like this. You're going to save as, file name will go here. You can tag it if you're on a Mac or whatever you wanna do. Save it wherever you wanna save it. I'll save it on the desktop. And then under format, this is very important. There's a lot of different audio formats. The two most prevalent ones are a WAV format, as you can see here, and an MP3 format, which you can see right here. Now, there's obviously a ton more that you can use and save as. Now, you may need to save as an AIFF if that's something you need for something you're recording, but normally it's an MP3 or a WAV. So I'm gonna save it as a WAV 16-bit. Uh, that's normally what people want. And then once you're done with that, you can click the blue save button and then it'll say here, do you wanna add some tags? So basically this is like for iTunes or, or whatever audio software you use to play back music. You can actually add the artist name, track title, album title. This is obviously more for music as opposed to like voiceovers like what I'm doing now. So once you've added all of that, if you want to, you just click OK. And then once we are done with that, you can go to your desktop, which I'll show you a finder window now. So if we go to my desktop, we're going to see this here where it says file name dot wave, and then we could play that back and that would be the audio that we just created and edited within Audacity. Now, obviously, there are a ton more features within this program. This software is so huge, so much you can do with it. I'll do some more follow-up videos later showing you the more advanced features. But as far as getting started, you should be up and running with this video in no time. I hope this helped you out. If it did, help me out by slapping that like button down below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and or families. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And I appreciate you watching the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.